Yes, so she baddest. And guess what? The baddest guy right now is in the studio with me. Lil Cash is obviously responsible for that fantastic tune. Is it because I love you featuring Pato Ranking? I absolutely love it. So, yes, how does it feel to be here on the takeover, Cash? Man, it's chilling, man. Mm, it's chilling, Avi. <laughs> Have fun. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Finally, finally, you've graced us with your presence. Thank you. So that's how you're going to make it sound? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> Do you want me to talk? No, no, please don't. Okay, don't, yeah, don't, I'm don't, just going to keep you on it. low. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's really great to have you here on The Takeover. Appreciate um, it. Yes. Um, uh, one thing I know about you is that you're... I, I, I'm, I'm very interested in your background, shall I say. Um, I know that you grew up in Bariga. Confirm. Yes. And that's also the same place that Olamide also grew up. Yep. Yeah, so when last um, were you there? And, you know, with all the success <laughs> that you've had so far, do you often, you know, think back about how life was growing up in Bariga and, you know, that, that hustling spirit that you obviously must have had back then? You know, yeah, I actually do miss that hustle spirit. Mm. Anyways, it's still very much around me, you know, because it's a mental something, so you keep it with you. Yeah. I try not to forget where I'm from. I try to stay as hungry as I was when I was still back in the street. But, I mean, if I had my way to always go back or to visit as much as as frequently as I want to mm. I would but my schedule is mad yeah. you get me at times at times even to get on some interview at times but because of how, how tight the schedule is already at times it takes about a month to even exactly yeah it pretty much took about a month for you but to not in here. our own case right here <clears throat> I, I don't want to talk do not make me talk <laughs> you know but yeah um, man's quite busy you know yeah. the fame and everything it mm. even makes it more difficult to try and go back to the hood because I can't go back there feeling as... I mean, I'll feel comfortable. I'll feel like it's home, but it's not mm. somewhere I'll just go. Like, I have to go. My people need to be aware that I'm coming. Mm. Cause, and it's definitely going to get rowdy and all that when I go. So I don't go as frequently as I would want to go. At times, I go very, very, very late at night just to see how the hood wow. still looks like. Funny enough, I've actually yeah, been man. in a situation with how crazy the streets so shall I say the crowd gets when Lil when, Kesh is in the building yo like yeah can you remember a shrine you know yeah that <laughs> you was, literally yeah. saved me from being ambushed yeah, you know you know <laughs> it was crazy. crazy why be on the streets you get, you get me you, yeah. you, anywhere, anytime we're on the street you get me it's just it's crazy because the love is on another level they feel mm. like yeah, this is my brother Kesh is my brother Lamde is my brother and so yeah. everybody gets all you get me, so... Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, well, one thing that, um, you know, um, I've noticed, most especially this year, is I really, really like a, a lot of your collaborations, actually. And the biggest happens to be this one that you did with Dice Ailes, Miracle. Yeah, miracle. It was a miracle. I said it on the verse because I knew the song was going to be a miracle. <laughs> and it literally has been a miracle. Obviously, you know, as we know, you're talking about a girl's body. Mm? Yes. What do, you, what do you mean as usual? I mean, I'm very, I'm very, very but changed you, boy right now. Oh, oh, so you've changed? Your ways have changed? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Liu Kesh is the same Liu Kesh that you see. We talk about this, talk about that. Mm. Like a lot of people know him for it's the same Liu Kesh that gave you guys a song like he shared, talking about True. him. Talking True. about it was the same guy that gave you songs like Life of a Star, mm. songs like Shemilo. I mean, I have to please everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I have to please everybody. I know I can't please everybody, but at least I need to try. All right, but then you know, talking about the miracle song, and obviously it is a song talking about girls. I would love to know if there's anything going on with you and the ladies right now like you in any sort of situation any sort of relationship any special lady in your life I know I mean I'm so money minded right now yeah so money so so money minded right now that okay those things are never really coming in the picture wow yeah, I mean, there's so much responsibility for Liu Kesh on like Liu Kesh of, of two years ago mm. so much more responsibility right now so okay, I'm trying so no, to really keep my head in the game so no girls for you no no girls alright okay well here um, is Liu Kesh teaming up with Dice Ills on this fantastic Fantastic feature. Don't forget to send in your questions on Twitter at Soundsy985 FM. Here is Miracle. Miracle. 
right now big big congratulations to you for actually dropping your debut album this year am Appreciate i correct it. yes yeah. it goes by the name yagi and um yeah it did young quite and getting it. yes young and getting it it did quite well on the streets and i also know that that's also the name of your record label yes it is all right now a lot of people are not too sure about your affiliation still with ybnl so would you like to just you know, in a sense, let us know what the link is still with YBNL, even though you obviously still have your record label that you are signed under. Um, like I said, um, I've been answering this question almost <laughs> throughout the whole year, you get me? But um, nothing really changed. We are still 100. Okay. You get me? Nobody has always known Lil Cash and YBNL to be any business oriented. We're not really business oriented, you know. And to this point, LM Day still knows everything that's going on. Okay. Like, yo, what single is going on next? Who's showing the video? When are we dropping it? What's, mm. what's happening? What's that? It's pretty much what it, what it is, too. Okay. But now is like the parent label to Yagi, and even every other label that is still gonna come from it, you know. But YBN now is still like the major thing. Um, management wise, um, Lil is still being managed by um, YBNL. YBNL. Okay. Even the even the record label Yagi is pretty much still managed by Olamide and, and I all together. Okay. So it's always everybody all for one, you know. All like, right. Like all for one, one for all. Okay. We for we. Yeah. <laughs> all yeah. right, but you know, without a doubt, having a record label must be hard work, right? Yo, like yeah. I said, it's more responsibility now. The the good thing for me is um um. Working with people like with somebody like Olamide has really taught me a lot. It never mm. really handled me like like an artist, like other record labels and do their art- mm. artists, you know. They get these things done for you. Mm. But right from the onset, Olamide started letting us know, oh, this is who shares the video. This mm. is what happens when you do this. This After this, this is the next step. This okay. are the things you look at. I pretty much met, met some of the guys I'm supposed to, uh, to, know, to know rather in the industry now. I, I pretty much met them about about a year two years ago mm. so it, it makes it a lot it makes it a lot easier the big responsibility is um the financial part of it yeah but i mean i bless god god has been very good to me okay as far as we is concerned i'm responsible for me financially all right you get me but yeah. at this point the only thing the response the huge responsibility that comes with it is i can't really be a 22 year old boy no more you grab, um <laughs> there's a lot of mental thing attached to it yeah you're considering this consider that managing the business trying not to get too carried away all right you get me? all right but do you feel that you setting up your own label was a good decision like have there been times where you're just like yo maybe i should have just renewed my contract with ybnl no, i think it was a very good idea it was me. a good idea it was a good step i mean what really happened Again, is that uh, my contract ended after two years, mm. and even before I decided to float my own album, it has it has been a it has been a joint idea with me and Alam Day before. Okay. It was like it told me like like about two years ago, yo yo. Once your contract ends, I pray to God that by then you're strong enough to handle yourself financially. Nice. I want you to float your label. You get me? It was even his own idea from the onset. I want wow. you to float your label. Um, Let's just try and make the world a better place. There are very few people trying to give other people flat platform now. Mm. So as I've done for you, it's only proper that you open your own label, float it. When you're strong enough mentally, financially, after a year or two, you get me. Um, you should also try and put up some artists that, okay. that years from now they can also put some other guys on. Nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. 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 All right. So let me just go back a little bit. Um, let's go back to your family life. Um, I know that your father is a pastor yeah yeah so what are his thoughts on cash yeah. the artist i mean my, my father is that kind of person that him being a pastor is still very how would i put it um he's very straight with the decisions and the way he sees life and mm. on, on, on uh, uh, i mean on like how other people can be too over righteous and get blinded by by some things okay. he, he has always seen his children as you know, irrespective of what i chose to be in life it, never, it doesn't have to affect you guys. Everybody have to live their story. Mm. So he has always seen me as you. Okay, this is what you want to do. He's, he has been giving me the support from the onset, from the days where I come back late from Unila because I went for some rap battle. From the days where I go for some talent hunt and get back late at home and he's calling now. Okay, you, what, what stage have you gotten to now? How's it going? Oh now? wow! The, my whole family has pretty much been very supportive from the onset. That's and nice. I really do appreciate that. He lets okay. everybody do what they want to do, irrespective of. Of, of what it is just do you but as long as you're, you're living your own stuff mm. as well so as we all know um the whole 
the whole incident that took place um, earlier this year, at the beginning of the year, mm. um, concerning you winning a well, not well, you won no, you didn't win the mm. award. Mm. You didn't win the award. Mm. Why? Oh, that was no, no, no good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I would, I would, you know, I haven't interviewed you since then. Okay, yeah, let's so, address it. Let's so yes, I would love for you to let us know um, how you felt when that happened. Did you lose any sort of, shall I say, respect, or did you see Don Jazzy in a completely different light? Um, did you feel that you really should have taken home that award? Okay. Um, for like the first two questions you asked, um, whatever, uh, as at that day that that thing happened, the whole thing that happened, and the second day, everybody's emotions were up, you get me? But I'm sure on the third day, the fourth day, everybody started realizing that we are all human beings. Mm. These things happen. Yeah. If I was in Olamide's shoes, if I was in Don Jazzy's shoes, I could have done worse. But I mean, we're all human beings. It happened and we squashed it. So that one is gone. And do I disrespect, do I see anybody in a different light? Yeah. No, man. Yeah. Whichever okay. way I've been looking at you, whichever way I've been seeing you from the onset, I still see you. All right. But you might not know I actually do see you, though. Okay. You get okay. me? But okay. whichever way I see you from the onset is how I still see you. All honestly, right. basically. So basically, would you say that there have been some sort of setbacks, most especially maybe like with the Mavens and then YBNL? Has there been like a sort of thing where, yo, you guys aren't going to work together or... Man, as far as me, I'm concerned, the way it works for me, eh, you can never know what, ha- what will happen next. Okay. It's music. No, any, anything can happen. You understand? Just keep your fingers crossed. Okay. Let's not let the cat out of the basket. You don't even know. Probably, maybe me and the jazz even have a song, though. Whoa, that's I'm nice. not saying that. I'm, I'm <laughs> just saying you can never know. But that would be really, really nice, though. Oh, yeah, now. Yeah, now. You guys should wait on it now. Okay, but talking yeah. about a song that is really nice and you have, shall I say, a veteran rapper on the single. I've decided to put that one up next. Yes, it goes by the name Ibile, mm-hmm. which apparently means local. Yeah. 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 See, see, see. It means it means it means tradition, culture. I'm just basically <sighs> talking about why do you have to kill to why you understand. Why do you have to kill my you vibe? You have to use the word local though. I why mean, do you have to kill my vibe now? I'm I'm a billet, but I'm not I was, I'm local but I'm not local. I was still. really trying we to show you that I understand. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> sorry, I'm not gonna let that fly. I'm okay, gonna be very So what honest. is it? Traditional as opposed to yeah, local. Yeah. Okay. Um I, as as far as me I'm concerned, if I want to um, translate it, Billy. I'll just tell you originality. Okay. And All as right. far as originality goes, for me, is you being true to your culture, your tradition. Mm. You mm. grab. You cannot want to eat a banana, and be like you only use spoon and eat it. Why? Mm. Are you deceiving yourself? Use your <laughs> hand. You get me. Wash that hand and dip it inside. And but some people that don't use their hands. But I mean, on the on the real <laughs> as well. You if 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 you're comfortable using your hand because you're maybe in public one, mm. two you do not want to stain your clothes. That one is allowed. Okay. But we both know that if you dip your hand and in that food according to where I'm feeling right it now because I've not had anything to eat and you're about to wax can only ma- <laughs> Yo, he's waiting for me in the car let's just finish the entire <laughs> <laughs> alright so here is Lil Cash with the Ibila remix featuring Reminis <laughs> Now, you always know that, um, you know, a guy came from a very good home when, as a musician, he sings about his mom. Yeah, that was a really, really good tune, Lil Cash. And yes, that one goes by the name Ishe. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Ishe. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's called Work. Mm. It's called Work and in English. This song, I was basically trying to um, apologize to my mom because that um, I was trying to apologize to her for not being able to see me as much as he used to see me before mm. one because the boy is more busy than he used to be mm. and I was also um, trying to talk about our story back then how hard he used to be but yeah. now but now he's better and, and, and um, I'm now I'm making my money and I'm taking care of my mommy you get Aww. me so that was that's so cute. So cute you call her mummy. <laughs> yeah. yeah All right, but definitely, as I said, you know, or as you even said, you are definitely getting it, young and getting it. Sure. Um, I know that you were in Unilag for a while. For a year. Actually. Yes. Um, have you graduated from Unilag? No, I deferred from Unilag. Okay. It was pretty. It was pretty difficult to cope with the fame and everything mm, in a place mm. like Unilag. But I'm, st- I'm currently studying mass coming. Okay. So National you're going to. University. 
Okay, yeah. so you're, you're still going down. And the advantage that is more of like an online thing. I can do my assignments nice. online. I can do right. this online. So I can be on the road and still be in school at the same time. Okay, cool. I like that. I absolutely yeah. love that. Okay, well, big congratulations for you releasing the Shile Gong Gong video. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. love it. Wavy, so wavy right now. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just, I've decided to, in fact, actually end the interview with this heavy, heavy tune. Oh, Thank shit. you so much for coming on the takeover. Appreciate Lil it. Thank Cash. you for having me. And hopefully we'll get to see you here again come next year with some new music. Yeah? Yeah, no. All right. I beg you tell me the place where I know the location. Mm, they can know the location. I get the girls from Ghana, they ready to go now. Mm, they ready to go now. Them they smoke and it's in them they drink and they see you. Mm, them they drink and they see you. Make you plenty money, they do, I will see you. Ah, but every time I give you lamba, I'm a killer shell and gong gong. Killer shell and gong gong. You know I make you book it down. Killer shell and gong gong. Kilo shell gong gong, stacking on my paper. Kilo shell gong gong, kilo shell gong gong. I make the party come alive.